Welcome back to his and her homestead. Today, we're going to make a video about incubating quail. You know, the reason we incubate quail is because typically they are not broody and they make terrible moms, even if they are, from what I've seen. I've never found one that's broody. So, we have to incubate the eggs. So, let's uh, go inside and check out my setup. All right, so here we are checking out the brooder and the incubator. So, what do I got here? I got an incubator. I've got a thermometer with a uh, humidity gauge on it. It's got two uh, two probes, so that's why it's reading two different temperatures. But uh, that's a little low. I try to keep mine at 99.5, which means I want it to vary between 99 and 100 if it varies. Um, I've got an egg turner, which was a monster investment, 50 bucks. You gotta hatch and eat a lot of quail eggs to make up for that. But one thing that really is super cheap that boosts your production a lot, they want 50 bucks for these at the store. So check this out. I have a fan running on mine. And you say, how did you get a fan for so cheap if they want 50 bucks for it? Well, I uh, made it. And there is videos all over YouTube about how to make them, but basically you don't even need a video. You just splice a computer fan. There's a splice right there. Splice a computer fan to a DC phone charger. And that will give you a working fan for your uh, incubator and then there I just punched a couple holes it's a styrofoam incubator so I just used one of the holes that was already in there and punched another hole that lined up with the corners of the fan where it attached to the computer and put it in there and I think you can use a laptop fan but pff, desktops are like free after they're a couple of years old so that's what I did I just got a free desktop that I had found somebody was getting rid of cut the fan out and just cut the wires and spliced the uh, the wires from a, a cell phone charger 12 volt DC cell phone charger because that's what the fan was running off of on the computer okay so uh, 99.5 degrees is what we're running for what we're looking for and we want a minimum of 30% humidity when we are incubating and you want to boost it up to about 50% humidity when they're hatching and if anybody ever tells you that you have to have a or that your quail are going to hatch within 24 hours of each other tell them they're lying because look at that see that quail right there that one is half the size of the other ones I know the red light probably throws you off, but it turns out that's the only light. Okay, well he's tiny basically, and I've got a lot of missized quail because my quail hatched for three days, and I just sat there with, you know, seven quail forever and thought maybe that's all I was going to get, the kept hatching. So anyways, that's uh, the basics of it, 18 days to hatch. Um, I take the turner out at 16 days. If you don't have an egg turner, you want to turn your quail every 8 hours. Or your quail eggs every 8 hours. And so, that's a, uh, a very important step. Uh, my turner got unplugged a few days before the hatch and I only got a 50% hatch. So that was kind of frustrating because we had bought those eggs for these quail. So. Uh, let's see what else you need to know uh, when when they hatch leave them in there for a few hours a couple hours probably to let them uh, dry off and they tend to pick on each other less when you put dry quail with dry quail in your brooder also have your brooder set up and ready to go that's another important thing but that's pretty much it 18 days 99.5 degrees, 
30% humidity and bump it up to 50% humidity. Stop turning them at 16 days ish, pretty close to 16 days, and you will have yourself some nice quail. Okay, uh, comment or subscribe, and also seriously, let me know how your hatch goes if you guys have one. And I have an extra computer frame. Somebody message me, and I'll send it to you. All right, see you.